I know you are a good person, but it's crucial to understand that not everyone is like you. Our hearts are naturally inclined to believe in the goodness of people and to hold on to the hope that everyone we meet has the potential for positive change. We want to believe that there's a solution for the world's problems and that kindness will be reciprocated. However, this optimism can sometimes lead us to overlook or ignore the signs of malicious behavior in others. Unfortunately, there are many malicious people in the world, and from time to time they will cross our paths. These individuals might not always reveal their true nature immediately. Their behavior can be subtle and manipulative, making it difficult to recognize them until it's too late. It's essential to stay vigilant and pay attention to the signs of such individuals so that you can protect yourself from their harmful influence. You may have already encountered someone who is truly cruel, someone who hurts others without a shred of remorse and exploits others' weaknesses for their gain. Sometimes these behaviors are so subtle that we don't even realize we're dealing with a bad person until the damage is done. To help you identify these harmful individuals and understand what to do when you encounter them, let's discuss some common signs of malicious behavior and how to handle these situations effectively. Before we dive in, if you find this type of life wisdom valuable, please press the like button to show your support. And remember this truth. People often want to see you do well, but never better than themselves. It's a hard reality, but one that can help you navigate relationships more wisely. Now let's begin with the first sign. One, making you apologize for their mistakes. Imagine a scenario where you're working on a critical project with a colleague. Despite everyone's best efforts, a mistake happens, and instead of owning up to their error, your co-worker shifts the blame onto you or another team member. They may say things like, this happened because you didn't communicate properly, or if you had been more attentive, this wouldn't have occurred. This not only creates a toxic work environment, but also makes you feel unjustly responsible for something that wasn't entirely your fault. The pressure to constantly prove yourself and apologize for others' mistakes can be overwhelming and damaging to your self-esteem. Consider a different situation with a friend who consistently finds themselves in troublesome situations. Whenever something goes wrong, rather than reflecting on their own choices, they always have a ready excuse. If they're late to an important event, it's always, the traffic was terrible, or someone else held me up. When things in their life take a downturn, it's never about their own decisions. Instead, they find someone or something else to blame. This pattern of behavior extends beyond just making excuses. It involves manipulating you into feeling guilty for their missteps and failures. They expertly twist the narrative to ensure that you end up apologizing for their mistakes, even when you're not at fault. This type of behavior is emotionally draining. Constantly being manipulated into feeling responsible for someone else's errors can erode your sense of self-worth and self-esteem. It's essential to recognize these patterns and understand that people who never take responsibility for their actions can drag you into a cycle of guilt and self-doubt. Learning to identify these behaviors early and setting firm boundaries with such individuals is crucial for maintaining your mental and emotional health. By doing so, you can preserve your well-being and avoid being unduly burdened by others' irresponsibility. The Habit of Lying Malicious people have an unsettling habit of lying. They lie not only for personal gain, but also to amuse themselves or manipulate those around them. Their lies can range from minor fabrications to significant distortions of reality. Imagine a co-worker who frequently invents elaborate stories about their achievements. They might exaggerate their role in projects or fabricate success stories to impress others or gain undue recognition. For instance, they might claim to have led a major project to success when, in reality, their contribution was minimal. 
or consider a friend who says they couldn't attend your important event because they were ill. Later, you discover they were out enjoying themselves at a party. These types of lies are not just dishonest, they reveal a complete lack of respect for you and others. Lying individuals often use their deceit to manipulate situations and people. For example, a partner might lie about their true feelings or intentions to maintain control over you or to gain an advantage in a disagreement. They might claim to be deeply committed to a relationship while secretly undermining it. They could also spread gossip or misinformation to create conflicts among friends or colleagues, all to amuse themselves or benefit in some way. These lies might seem trivial or harmless at first, but they gradually erode trust and damage relationships. When someone lies repeatedly, even about seemingly insignificant matters, it is a clear indication of their disrespect for you and their willingness to sacrifice your trust for their own benefit. Recognizing and confronting these lies is crucial for maintaining healthy and trustworthy relationships. If you notice that someone has a persistent habit of lying, it's important to evaluate the impact of that person on your life and consider whether it's possible to sustain a trusting relationship with them. Honesty is the foundation of any solid relationship, and individuals who habitually lie cannot provide that crucial foundation. Being aware of this behavior and setting firm boundaries can help protect your integrity and emotional well-being. 3. Lack of Remorse People with malicious intentions often exhibit a disturbing lack of remorse for their actions. They never feel guilty about the negative impact they have on others, and when confronted, they manipulate the situation to make you question your own perception of reality. Imagine a colleague who takes credit for your hard work. When you bring up the issue, they show no remorse. Instead, they might justify their actions by claiming that you wouldn't have achieved the results without their help, or by saying they were merely supporting you. This behavior reflects a profound lack of empathy and remorse, highlighting a deeply selfish and manipulative nature. Another example could be a friend who frequently makes hurtful or malicious comments. When you try to discuss how their words affect you, they laugh it off or suggest that you're being overly sensitive. They might dismiss your feelings or imply that you're exaggerating, thus distorting your perception of reality and making you question your own emotions. This kind of behavior is not only a sign of a lack of remorse, but also an attempt to deflect blame and maintain control. These individuals are adept at turning situations around. When you point out a mistake or harmful behavior, they quickly position themselves as the victims, making you feel that you're in the wrong for addressing the issue. This form of emotional manipulation indicates that they have no genuine remorse for their actions and are primarily concerned with protecting their own image. Recognizing the absence of remorse is crucial for safeguarding your emotional health. People who do not feel guilt for their harmful actions may continue to engage in such behaviors, knowing they face no real consequences. Identifying this trait and setting clear boundaries is essential to protect yourself and maintain healthy relationships. If someone consistently shows a lack of remorse, it's important to consider distancing yourself from them to preserve your well-being and emotional stability. Open Cruelty Some malicious individuals are overt in their cruelty, actively using words and actions to inflict pain and take pleasure in the suffering of others. Their lack of empathy and intentional harm are defining traits of this type of person. Open cruelty can manifest in various ways, from subtle verbal jabs to overt physical aggression, and it's crucial to recognize and address these behaviors promptly. Consider a co-worker who openly makes malicious or humiliating comments during meetings. Instead of offering constructive criticism, they cruelly point out your flaws or ridicule your ideas with the intention of demoralizing you. 
This behavior not only damages individual confidence, but also destroys team morale, creating a toxic and oppressive work environment. Such actions can lead to decreased productivity, increased stress levels, and a high turnover rate in professional settings. Similarly, imagine a friend who makes cruel jokes about your insecurities or personal problems, knowing how much they hurt you. They might mock something you shared in confidence, seemingly taking delight in your discomfort. This kind of behavior is indicative of a person who finds pleasure in others' pain, demonstrating a profound lack of empathy. Over time, this can erode trust, self-esteem, and the very foundation of the friendship. Open cruelty can also manifest in more aggressive forms, both verbal and physical. For instance, a partner who regularly insults or physically attacks you is displaying clear cruelty. Their intention is to hurt and control, showing a complete disregard for your dignity and well-being. This kind of behavior is not only deeply damaging, but can also lead to long-term psychological and physical harm. It's important to note that such actions often escalate over time, making early recognition and intervention crucial. Cruelty can also be systemic, occurring in institutions or social structures. For example, a school that tolerates bullying or a workplace that allows harassment is perpetuating a culture of cruelty. These environments can have far-reaching effects, impacting not just individuals, but entire communities. Recognizing cruelty in someone is crucial for protecting your emotional and physical integrity. People who are openly cruel have no respect for others' feelings and can cause significant and lasting damage. It's important to understand that this behavior is not normal or acceptable in any relationship or setting. Setting firm boundaries and distancing yourself from such individuals is essential for maintaining your safety and mental peace. This might involve directly confronting the behavior, seeking intervention from authorities, such as HR in a workplace setting, or completely cutting ties with the cruel individual. If you find yourself facing cruelty, seek support from trusted friends, family or professionals. This support network can provide emotional reinforcement, practical advice, and potentially necessary interventions. In cases of physical cruelty or abuse, it's crucial to prioritize your safety and consider involving law enforcement or seeking help from organizations specializing in abuse prevention and victim support. Remember, your well-being should always be a priority and it's important to address cruelty decisively. No one deserves to be treated cruelly and recognizing and responding to such behavior is an essential part of maintaining healthy relationships and a positive environment in all aspects of life. 5. Warning from friends and family When friends and family caution you about someone's character, it's vital to heed these warnings. They may have observed toxic and harmful behaviors from this individual that you might not yet have noticed. Ignoring such advice could lead to unpleasant situations that mirror their experiences. Imagine starting a new relationship and having your closest friends and family express concerns about your partner. They might share their observations about this person's history of manipulation and disrespect in previous relationships. While it can be challenging to accept criticism, especially when you're emotionally involved, it's important to consider these concerns carefully. Your friends and family, who care deeply about your well-being, offer an external and impartial perspective that can be invaluable. Another scenario might be starting a new job and hearing from colleagues about a supervisor's negative behavior. They might describe how this supervisor frequently vents frustration on subordinates, creates a tense work environment, and never takes responsibility for mistakes. These accounts are more than just complaints. They are alerts based on real experiences that can help you avoid similar issues. Warnings from loved ones are valuable because they come from a place of genuine concern and lack any hidden agenda. 
If multiple people express similar concerns about the same individual, it's a strong indicator that caution is warranted. It can be easy to dismiss or downplay these warnings, especially if the person in question is treating you well initially. However, taking these concerns seriously and observing the person's behavior closely can prevent future problems. That being said, it's essential to strike a balance between valuing the opinions of friends and family and forming your own judgments. While their insights are crucial, remember that every relationship is unique and people can change. Use their warnings as a guide to be more observant and cautious rather than as definitive judgments. If you notice signs of manipulation, cruelty or lack of responsibility from someone, consider distancing yourself before the situation becomes too difficult to manage. Your friends and family might see red flags that you could overlook while you're emotionally invested. Trust their judgment and use their insights to safeguard yourself from potential harm. Ultimately, combining the wisdom of those who care about you with your own observations and instincts can help you make informed decisions about the people you allow into your life. This approach can save you from potential heartache, stress, and negative experiences in both personal and professional relationships. 6. Disdain One of the most destructive forms of emotional manipulation is disdain. This behavior involves a systematic effort to undermine your self-worth by disparaging your appearance, interests, ambitions, and more. It's crucial to guard against allowing these individuals to distort your self-perception and erode your self-esteem. Imagine a partner who continually criticizes your physical appearance, obsessively pointing out perceived flaws, as though they are irreparable defects. They might say things like, you could be more attractive, or why don't you dress better? Such comments are not intended to be helpful or constructive. They are designed to sap your confidence and make you feel fundamentally inadequate. This relentless negativity chips away at your self-esteem, making you increasingly doubtful of your own value and worth. Similarly, picture a friend who habitually mocks your passions and achievements. They might deride your dreams, laugh at your ambitions, or make you feel foolish for pursuing goals that matter deeply to you. This kind of disdain is more than just hurtful. It's a calculated effort to diminish your self-worth and create self-doubt. Their goal is to weaken your confidence, making you more dependent on their validation and approval. By making you feel small and insignificant, they aim to assert their own dominance or control over you. Individuals who use disdain as a tool for emotional control are primarily concerned with reshaping your self-perception to fit their own needs and desires, often at the expense of your true identity and personal values. They seek to manipulate how you view yourself, frequently to maintain a power dynamic that benefits them and keeps you in a subordinate or less empowered position. It is vital to remember that you are inherently valuable and deserving of respect and kindness. If someone is consistently belittling you, it's a strong sign that they are more invested in undermining your emotional well-being than in nurturing a healthy, supportive relationship. To protect yourself, it's essential to distance yourself from those who persistently attempt to diminish you and seek out relationships that foster your personal growth and happiness. Surround yourself with people who value you for who you are, encourage your ambitions, and support you in pursuing your goals with confidence. Building and maintaining relationships that affirm your self-worth is key to sustaining a positive self-image and emotional well-being. Abusing animals is a stark and undeniable indicator of a deeply troubling character flaw. Cruelty towards animals often reflects a profound lack of empathy and a tendency towards abusive behavior, which can have far-reaching consequences. When someone demonstrates abusive or neglectful behavior towards animals, it is a significant red flag that their moral and ethical compass is seriously flawed. 
Imagine a neighbor who regularly mistreats their dog, using harsh physical punishment, yelling, or otherwise causing unnecessary pain and distress. This not only inflicts suffering on the animal, but also exposes the abuser's severe lack of empathy and emotional control. Such actions are not isolated incidents. They are indicative of a broader pattern of behavior that may extend to how they interact with other people. Consider another scenario where someone keeps their pets in appalling conditions, unhygienic living spaces, inadequate food, and lack of proper medical care. This kind of persistent neglect is a clear sign of total disregard for the well-being of the animals under their care. The animal's suffering is a direct result of the owner's callousness and failure to fulfill basic responsibilities. The significance of these behaviors should not be underestimated or overlooked. Research has shown a disturbing correlation between cruelty towards animals and a propensity for violent behavior towards humans. Those who engage in such cruelty often exhibit a pattern of behavior that can escalate and lead to further harm. Recognizing these signs early can be crucial for preventing future incidents of violence or abuse. While it can be difficult to confront or distance ourselves from individuals who we may otherwise have relationships with, it is essential to prioritize the safety and well-being of both animals and ourselves. If you suspect someone is involved in animal cruelty, it's crucial to take appropriate action. Distancing yourself from the individual is a protective measure to avoid being complicit or negatively influenced by their behavior. Additionally, reporting the abuse to the relevant authorities can help ensure the animals receive the care and protection they need and can potentially prevent further harm. Ultimately, protecting animals from cruelty and maintaining personal integrity requires vigilance and a willingness to act on these important ethical concerns. By standing up against abuse and taking action to report and address such behavior, you contribute to a more compassionate and just society. Conclusion. If you know of other signs of a bad person that haven't been mentioned here, please share them in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you made it to the end, write good always triumphs over evil in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, click the video on the screen. See you in the next video. Goodbye.